On another note, listen, you drive, right? Yeah. 25. I drive too, but but my license is broken a few pieces, right? So as of oh, recently, yeah. I just been fucking with Uber. You know, it's the safest, you know, it's the safe it, it has been the it was the best option. Yeah. But lately, Uber mm-hmm. been on some bullshit. Like like for oh. me, like like I said, with my license being broken half. That's one thing, you know, that, so it's always a risk driving. Fact. Which I've done. I didn't give a fuck, right? But I would do, but like I said, too much risk versus reward. But, and cab drivers, like, like cab drivers, I, I hate them almost as much as I hate police. You understand what I'm saying? Like, them niggas have drove me to a, a, an extremely violent place. And like, like, I didn't, like, just, just ugly, just the ugliest side of me has been brought out by cab oh, drivers, yeah. I promise you. Like I done tried to break their door off, not slamming it closed, slamming it open. Like, <laughs> like I just spit in the cab driver face, like same cab driver, like twenty times, like, like, like that, like son. The rage is unreal. So when Uber came out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It took me a yeah. while to get used to the new technology. I didn't think, I'm not doing no, what the fuck we doing my car, my credit card, what the fuck? When I finally did it, it was a godsend. It was like, oh shit, it became the better option. You know what I mean? And it was such a oh, great yeah. option oh. that cab drivers literally, like yellow cabs was, 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 was killing was themselves. The for the <laughs> like, no, yellow cabs were killing, they was committing suicide because of, the dent in their pockets that Uber mm. and and all of this app, you know, Uber, Lyft, and all of that came out, fuck their yeah. lives up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, exactly. So you know, so but I, I will say that 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 as of recent though, Uber, you know, them niggas been getting all you know niggas get all. That's how they do. You know what I'm saying? They run around. They 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 show up. They show you all the love give you everything you want everything you need at prices you you love until they got you hooked and then they start to get you and to get you and to get you and to, and to rob you and to stick you up without a gun right so now oh, they price wow. is ridiculous wow. to the point now where me and cab drivers actually been getting along a little bit because they got some more respect now you know what i'm saying they like oh uber went son let me tell you what all right let me tell you what happened a few days ago I was at my brother General Steel Crib the other day, right? Yeah. And me and Hands was there. Like, I took an Uber from Brownsville to his crib. $25 ride, right? So when you guys want to start your own side hustle, your own business, whatever it is that you guys want to do, people are going to call it your little business, right? They're going to call it your little business, your little side hustle, but that's okay. When I wanted to start my own hair care line, someone told me, aren't there already hair care lines out? When I wanted to start selling courses, people told me that's all you do is sell stuff on the internet. And when I decided to buy rental properties instead of investing in my own personal house, people told me that you don't own a home, you own houses. So people are always going to have something negative to say, but it does not matter. What they're really doing is projecting their insecurities onto you, right? They really want to be in the position that you're in to have that faith in yourself to um, accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Owning my own business outweighs the benefits of me going back to a nine to five. So there's no reason to give up. This is Master Nation Jade, and I think you should start your journey to financial freedom right now. So go to the website that you see here or click the link in the description below or find me on IG and click the link in my bio, Exotic Jade Eyes. Uh-huh. I mean, my hands was there. He got, I was probably, I'm figuring, I'm gonna jump, I'm jumping the whip with him on the way back or whatever, right? But it didn't work out that way. He took an Uber his damn self. I'm like, all right, that's what up. So when he was getting ready to leave, I said, oh, I'm just, let me, um, let me, let me, let me spend a few more minutes with my homeboy and, and talk to him about a few things, this, that, and the third, right? Yeah. Yeah. 10 minutes after Hans leaves, I hear the biggest, you know, one of them big, healthy, the hearty thunders, right? The, the, the <laughs> you like, oh, my first reaction was, 
Uber prices just now went up twenty dollars, right? And we all laughed. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? We all chuckled. And <laughs> and then I finally said, Let me look and see. I'm I'm saying, let me you bullshit, let me look. Shit had went up twenty five dollars. My twenty my twenty five dollar ride was now a fifty dollar ride going back, right? And I'm like, get the fuck. I'm like, and you know, luckily this is family. I'm amongst family. I don't have to leave. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just, why don't we wait a little while, right? We have more fun though. Who's like, that sound like another twenty dollars, right? And we would look every thunder, like every time we. Like that, that was that might have been a little ten to five dollars, right? I promise you, my brother, the money, it, the price got up to seventy something dollars, about seventy seven dollars. Wow! From from what did you think the ride was going to be in the beginning? Twenty five dollars to get from Brownsville to where my man was. You understand what I'm saying? So so the, at the first Thunder, it went to fifty. Then the shit went up again and again and again till it was about seventy seven dollars. Wow. Now, is there anything in there, uh, like bylaws or whatever, as far as Uber goes, that says that it does that? Because that sounds crazy. Like, I don't know. I don't know. All I, but what I do know is I waited there until I didn't leave until that shit was back down to twenty. Back down to twenty something. <laughs> Like they fucking with the wrong one. I'm up. I was in my family. We was watching one of those good shows on Netflix or whatever. That was mm-hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? But Uber, you real That's petty for that. Dude. You petty for that Uber. That's foul. Like every like every thunder. And who's the nigga responsible for that? Who's the nigga that's sitting there go oh oh all right we should raise this one up a little pin right now it's like who like how how the fuck does that work is it automatic is it algorithm is it I, I, you I don't, gotta I think too it. that it's such a big company like they must have something tied to like a weather app or something for them to eat because they probably do the same thing no matter where you're at as far as like the weather the scarcity of who's gonna be driving in that those conditions that mm-hmm. sounds crazy though I wouldn't even, yeah. I wouldn't even think about that like uh yeah. until you just now said it that's how and then you multiply that shit by like like club you know when you at the club let's say you at a club and it's time to leave four o'clock a.m on a Friday night price is just stupid <laughs> stupid I seen it last night I went out last night seen it yeah I seen it that's crazy. same shit it's petty which brings us to the petty portion you know what I'm saying? Like we just, just kind of just stumbled into the petty portion, cause Uber that's petty, b. That niggas is making all Hell. the money, b. Like the fuck, y'all don't gotta do that. Like literally, not at all. Thank you for listening to Monster Mondays podcast. Please join us every Monday from eight to ten p.m. West Coast time and eleven to one a.m. East Coast time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious vinyl radio station.